To wrap this series up, I'm going to show you three hidden features in Lumion that will ignite your workflow. Let's polish this scene with materials, objects, and effects that have already been sorted. The techniques I'm about to show you are advanced and open up a world of efficiency with libraries, presets, and sharing work with your team. Let's get to it. Okay, let's head back over to build mode and take a look at our materials. Now, of course, in Lumion, there is no shortage of fantastic materials. We could go to like our various materials and we have 3D grass. We can choose from all these different like 3D grass patterns of circular or row grass. You can double click on any of these materials. You can mess with the grass size and length and you could spend a ton of time in here uh, really tweaking all these materials, making them look really fantastic and beautiful. But whenever you're in this like material editing mode up here at the top right, you can choose load material set. I'm just going to load a material set from our class files. And you can see here's our 235 South Ivy.mtt. That is a Lumion material set. And I'll choose open. Now, what this is going to do, it's like it's repathing all these different materials, um, you know, setting it up with the properties defined in the material set. So I'll just choose overwrite material and then check save changes. And look at that, you know, now we've got like all these materials are all perfectly dialed in. Now, the other thing we can do in Lumion is head over to our content library. And on the nature, uh, nature collection, we'll click place. And then there's all kinds of options when it comes to placing, you know, trees and plants. And uh, you just click on a collection uh, to open the collection and then click on an object. You can hold the L key to kind of uh, shrink it down or make it larger, you know, so this is where you can start to like soften the, the uh, transition between the rendered model and the drone footage, right? Okay, so I don't want to get into, you know, making a, a tutorial, another tutorial about placing objects in Lumion. What I want to talk about is just how you could have a colleague, you know, do all of this, uh, this, uh, entouraging and landscaping. You can have someone else do all this work and then you can merge the files. So check this out. I'll go to save and load projects and then we'll go to load and then I'll choose merge project. All right, we're going to merge uh, the MBLS12. That's our class files uh, within our class files folder and I'll choose open. And now we're hit with this next screen where we're asked like, what do you wanna do with this stuff? So basically these are all the different like types of objects that are coming in. And so as far as like movie clips and photos, we don't need to worry about those. Uh, imported models, we're gonna also skip those. When it comes to our content library, I'd say that we should probably just remove what's in the current project and add the models from the Lumion. And then same thing, like I just kind of haphazardly place those plants we're gonna remove what we have in here and then just add what's in the other. The other option is to just kind of bring them in on top of what we have. So we'll say, um, we're just gonna merge those in and let's start the merge and check this out. Bam, just like that. All of our landscape objects dump in here. So like I said, if you've got like a, a, a team member who's really good at like entouraging and landscaping, or maybe they're not real savvy with like, you know, so all the other areas of Lumion, but you know, you just need somebody to kind of take the time to carefully place all these objects. Well, they can open the file and do that and then kind of save it out as like a reference for just a moment or a temp file. And then you merge it when you're ready. So they say, hey, I'm done, merge it and then trash the file. Super slick. All right, so now let's head over into our movie mode again. And then, you know, remember where we're at here. So if I just kind of drag the clip, check it out. We've got our tree happen in there. It's kind of blocking. We've got all these extra landscape objects that are kind of softening that. Remember I commented on that tree. We've got those shrubs going. So this is going to be really cool, but honestly, it doesn't look that great. So again, if you have somebody on your team that is really, you know, skilled with setting up these effect stacks, or perhaps you've already, you know, rendered a project and you have a series of effects that you like. Well, save it as an effect list. I believe that's what we're calling these now. Uh, we can go to the folder and we can choose load effect list. I'll click load effect list 
And then just like we did before uh, from our class files, here's our uh, Brightman Designs Daytime Overcast Realistic. I'll choose Open, and just like that, we've got, like this thing is just really coming to life. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna render out this clip. Uh, we'll render this guy out, and uh, we're gonna choose a good quality uh, so that we're getting our anti-aliasing in there. We're gonna go with 30 frames per second, and we're gonna go with full HD. I'll save that to my desktop temp folder, and this time, I'm gonna call it our final, and let's let that one run. Okay, so we're done rendering. I will click OK to finish that up. Back in DaVinci Resolve, I'm just going to right click on this clip and we will choose Replace Selected Clip. I'll navigate to my desktop temp folder and here you can see we have our Ivy Street Final. I'll double click on that and let's see what we've got. Our keying for the blue screen needs a little bit of adjusting. So I'll just head over to my color tab and I will click on the qualifier, and then let's just select that again, and then kind of adjust once more. It actually looks really pretty good, just for you know, kind of tweaking that shade of blue. And I'll tell you what, let's just render this thing out and take one final look. I'll go to the Deliver tab, and we're going to set this up to deliver uh, pretty much just a YouTube video. It's gonna be just fine for this. And I'll call this our Ivy Street Final. And we're going to send this to our desktop temp again, like that. And we'll save it. And we're going to add to render queue. And then we're going to click render all. All right, here it comes, our, our uh, house under construction. And then we overlay our design. Not too shabby. I mean, we've got the trees pretty well lined up. The color, you know, we could spend a little bit more time, but I mean, that's a pretty convincing overlay. I mean, we've kind of nailed the perspective. You know, again, the color keen, we could certainly spend more time on that, but no big deal. I think that was a true success. Finally, you have a reason to buy that drone you've always wanted. Go for it. I appreciate you sticking with me through these advanced tutorials. If you're hungry for more, check out the Lumion blog for all the latest, or keep binging on this Lumion channel and follow me to our latest upload. I'll see you next time.